Welcome to Bonehead Weekly Fun Size. He's got Neil Bloomkamp on the show, and we couldn't be more excited. Fill these nipples. I don't know. So, well, we're going back to fun I, size I and not always, funsies. I know. I never picked funsies. That was funsies chat. is great. And should we talk about the fact that um, Ben feels like you and him have connected, Joe? And then at least at least me and James out in the dust. Oh, no. I want to tell a story real quick, but it, I'll have to cut it out of this because it'll take it too long. The interpreter at the Sunday, as we were finishing up Lexington Comic Con, looks over at me and goes, You know, you're right. The big fat furry ones do say hi to you a lot. <laughs> huh. Chad, James, yeah. as my friends, you know, none of that, what I just said was untruthful. Yeah. No, no. I mean, we attract our own. I'm yeah. chubby chased. So, I get neurotic let's people. talk about Neil Bloomkamp real quick. <laughs> I, you know, a lot of people give a lot of crap to this movie, but I, Chad and I were talking about how much we both love Chappie. We do. We love the character of Chappie, and it has an amazing cast. Hugh Jackman, Dev Patel, Sigourney Weaver. And, and the people who I hear there was a lot of arguments on set because Ninja, who plays Ninja, was playing Ninja. I like that in Yolandi. But what, what I love about it is that he breaks my heart. The only thing that I feel that he dropped the ball on, no offense, is I still can't get past Hugh Jackman's mullet. I just yeah. <laughs> I know it's a stylistic choice, but I'd like to know if it was Neil's or if it was Hugh. I'd like to think it was Hugh's. Hughes. Yeah. yeah. Chad? <laughs> no, uh, James, you go ahead and go. Yeah, I want to talk about something that he did that I'm sure neither of you have seen because you're not the nerd type that I am. So there was. You take this, that back. This particular <laughs> video game that was made, Anthem. Yeah. Anthem. Uh, my oh, son said that I play it, all that stuff. The game's fun. It's okay. The movie, the short uh, film, four minutes long, directed by the guest of honor today, Rod is Sterling. phenomenal. It is phenomenal. You can watch it online. You don't have to know what the game's about. Actually, it helps if you don't, I think. Because in four minutes, the world building that is done in that is it, it, it makes the game better. Uh, the, the game came out, had some technical issues, kind of fell off the face of the earth it's been they no longer support it that being said that movie there's emotion in it and it's four minutes it's less than four minutes i think it so if you've never seen it it's called i'm blanking on actually conviction or something like that four minutes long you can get uh, you, it's on youtube check it out but uh I honestly i was watching it again before we recorded this and i was like ah, it's, i wish the game had that much emotion because I pl I've played the game for hours and it does not have the emotion that that four minute has. So there you go. Uh, I'm going to go a different approach because I want to talk about one of these projects that got away. Um, so Neil Bloomkamp, he is great with the dystopian feel of his films. I don't think anybody in our current climate captures that dystopian feel better than Neil. That being said, we missed a great opportunity when he didn't get to do his alien movie. And he says he's not going to do it. No yeah, way. He's not, he's not going to do it. There's no way. I'm going back. Yeah. But it was, uh, it would have been a great film. We would have seen the return of Hicks and it had a great story. Just look up the artwork if you haven't checked out Neil Bloomkamp's Alien yet. It would have been an amazing film. And honestly, it would have probably been a sequel that rivaled Aliens, but we never got it. This has been Bonehead Weekly Fun Size. Fuzzies. <laughs>